The Virtual Campground is a community of RVers. We gather around the campfire to share stories, information, and travel tips that help you on your next adventure. Your camp hosts, Deborah and Barry Benton, are full-time RVers in search of quaint bookstores, cozy coffee shops with great Wi-Fi, and epic photography opportunities, all to share with you. So pull up your chair and join us in the Virtual Campground. Hey, we're here at a Harvest Host. It is the St uh, Storyteller's Hideaway. In other words, it's Johnny Cash's former farm and hideaway when he needed to get away from things in Nashville. And we are here at this gorgeous farm about to go look up close and personal to some of his personal items, this farmhouse that he stayed in, and where he kept some cars. I'm going to tell you just some history of the Weems. Uh, the Weems, um, like Charles Lindbergh, when he flew to mm -hmm. Paris, the last person he saw was Admiral Weems, who's the father of celestial navigation. Oh, wow. So we believe he's been here age-wise. Yeah. This is Weems Cemetery. But historically, it's a Scottish family, like, for instance, uh, Shakespeare's Macbeth is about the Weems family. Oh, interesting. And also the person that wrote the story, uh, it's a lie actually, uh, called Parson Weems. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, he, he wrote the story about George Washington and the cherry tree. Oh, right. was written by Parson Weems. So the Scottish, you yeah. know, that Weems family, and this is the original homestead here was the Weems. And that's Weems Cemetery. Okay. Yeah. And now a lot the, of history on here. Oh, like yeah. Now this guy right here, Captain Weems, fought in the Mexican, uh, uh, me wait, Mexican Indian War, okay. and they brought him back in a pickle barrel, oh. dead of course, and that's him right there. Okay. Now this was Johnny's like favorite place, and he was set pitch tents up here, and it's it's like a what do you call a. Uh, This is like one of the highest areas. Uh -huh. See how pretty it, it is? is? Very peaceful. And this is where all the animals hang out. You know, at, at the right time, you right. get deer and turtles. of many years. What is it called? The one piece at a time. One piece at a time. This is crazy. The chair is different from the driver's seat. It's different from the back seat. Everything is different. It's hysterical. There's one door on this side and two on the other. The inside, look at the inside of this door. It's all cream colored. That's all black colored. Too fun. So this is the limo from the Johnny Paycheck, take this job and shove it. And you gotta see inside here, you got some shag carpet, some nice velour velvet curtains, a refrigerator and TV that remind you of your grandparents. This 
Museum is a slice of music history. <laughs> You've got a little bit of everything. All right, Deborah, what'd you think of that? That was crazy amazing. <laughs> I mean, I did not expect to see the one piece at a time car. No. That was a fun song. Yep. <laughs> I certainly didn't expect to stand in the middle of musical history right. in the corner that Colonel Parker and Elvis signed their deal. Yeah, yeah, that, it's incredible that this, this couple has found all these different pieces of musical history and brought them here. It's all into amazing. one spot, yep. And plus, the grounds themselves right. have so much history. You have the Civil War, um, the Weems family. Amazing. Just really amazing. <laughs> All because he saw a picture of Johnny Cash and asked somebody, who's that, when he was an adult. <laughs> and got to know about Johnny Cash and just fell in love with his music and the history. And he's an author. And he's and he a songwriter himself. Yeah, Beautiful he, song about the garage. Yeah, did he say he's written 150 songs or something like that? <laughs> Brian Oxley. Look Brian, at that. Brian Oxley. So, uh, yeah, good time. We highly recommend it.